We call this hog pocket tea. Uh, we bought this hog from the Rotoball family. Hog, I think, brings like 22 or 23,000 there. Uh, this was a hog that uh, you know, Jim approached afterwards and said, hey, I want to buy back in on that thing. I want to use him a bunch. And he lived in Florida. I mean, he's one that, uh, you know, kind of like Brandon mentioned on standoff. I mean, every collection, I mean, he wanted four to six doses. Uh, this thing, uh, because it's done an incredibly good job for him and lots of others in terms of just you know putting some extra rib shape and mass in those things. It'll give you a killer good look. A uh, shape of muscle is very good. Range of motion is very very you know ideal as well. Uh, you know he's enough maybe you just need to take to just a notch stout or feature one if you need to just make a big leap in that area. But one that just you know is about the basic as could be. I mean y'all you know, tell you from my standpoint I guess last fall is this thing if this thing was a bear I'd, I'd love to have this one on feed. I mean just he was just so balanced and so correct and I think it was one that could have won about any big show you wanted to take him to. Uh, you know from a color standpoint from what we've seen in Bism and Jim and Steve and the guys, uh, he'll basically match your sow in color. You bring him the belted one, you'll get lots of belted ones, you get lots of blues. I mean if you got some red in there he's gonna inject that too, but one that we like lots of things about, call that one pocket tea.